Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil. Today we're taking a look at a Dragapult EX Lost Zone deck, uh, but with a twist here, it does not play uh, Mirage Gate. So Dragapult EX, you know what it is. 320 HP, stage two EX, no weakness because it's Dragon type, takes two different types of energy because it's Dragon type, fire and psychic, and therefore it pairs really well with Lost Zone. Fire, we, you know, Firebox loves Radiant Charizard. I can power that up. Uh, Lost Zone decks, Sableye is awesome, takes Psychic Energy, pairs with that, and we have Quarant as well to attack with, of course, no energy there. So, Dragapult, really good. We play three three of the EXs and three of the Drake Loke, stage one. Why do we love? Because Drake Loke's awesome. Drake Loke's awesome. Uh, playing Drake Loke's better than playing Rare Candy. The other deck plays some Rare Candy too, but if you can skip Rare Candy, you want to, because Recon Directive, awesome. Once during a turn, look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand, put the other card on the bottom very very good just once you get a couple of those set up the deck flows really well then four of the basics uh and then we're playing as i said one radiant charizard it's a radiant you can only have one copy anyway uh it's it's for fire and four colorless does 250 damage so it does more damage to the active the dragapult ex does a, a, a dragapult ex does 200 damage to the active you spread six damage counters any way you like but you probably knew that already um, and you even know Radiant Charizard, right? And it's one attack cost is one color less for each prize card your opponent's taken. So late game, we're attacking for one energy. That is very good. Cramorant attacks for free. As long as you get four in the Lost Zone, we can do that turn one a decent amount of the time and does 110 for that. Sableye needs 10 in the Lost Zone to use the Lost Mine attack, but for one Psychic Energy, place 12 damage counters any way you like. Awesome. Plus spreading 12 damage counters, pairing up with the six damage counters with Dragapult. Just gives us different ways to win the game. Very nice there. And then four comfies. Just a nice little engine there for sure. Energies, four fire, four psychic. So heavier lines. You can even go down to three a 3-3 three, three line. But this way you can loss zone and energy here and there during the course of the games. Not more than one of each type, I would say. But if you're if an energy is prized, it, you can handle that better. Um, and if you have to loss on energy because you really want the other card, you can do that. So, so the 4-4 count just gives the deck a little bit of flexibility. Um, so playing, getting the trainers, four colors experiment because that is the heart of the loss on engine. Look at the top five cards your deck. Three in your hand, two in the loss zone. Uh, other supporters, one boss, one Iono, one Roxanne. With the engine of this deck, most of the time, honestly, I'm getting to use Roxanne in a meaningful way most games. So... I really do like it. You could go with two Ionos, helps the deck out a little bit early game, but Roxanne for the late game disruption, awesome there. The ace spec is prime catcher because we need switching with um, the comfy, so it makes sense there. Turn, oh, speaking of switching, four switches, four switch cards as well, so a ton of switching. Uh, don't play jet energy. You could put jet energy in as well. Uh, for other gust. Uh, we play counter catcher other let's see two uh rare candies it's useful you probably you're not going to use more than one rare candy a game um and a lot sometimes i don't even do that because i still have like a couple comfies in play sometimes either what like a some other card like a charizard or save live or radiant charizard and then maybe two dragapults in the line someplace in which case if i only get two going then I, I don't really want a rare candy. I want to get to the Drake Gloat because the engine is super awesome, but the rare candy is nice to have as well. Uh, for Buddy Buddy Poffin, uh, for Pokemon Search, three Nest Balls. Um, and I'm playing an Ultra Ball, which these decks don't generally play, but I like it. It's the only way I had to search for your Drake Gloat or Dragapult. So having this is just another out to getting the Stage 1 or the Stage 2. I like it in the deck. I'm very happy to have it there. One Lost Vacuum, Artisone, and Temple of Sinnoh are, are, are the stadiums two super rods we need to get especially the energies back and also the pokemon right uh we have these one of attackers uh with sableye radiant charizard so getting those back very good there um what else have i have do we have here uh one pal pad just put put up the two supporters back in the deck and uh rescue board uh, which is good. This is really nice in the deck. It's another switch card, better than like a switch or a switch cart, in that you attach it to a comfy, and then that comfy has free retreat every turn. So it adds one extra. Usually the rescue board's better than a switch card because you get multiple uses out of it. So that's the list. I think I hit all the cards there. It's working pretty solid. Let's go take a look at the deck in action. All right, let's see how this goes here. 
would like to go second. Um, getting off Colrus is really good with this deck. Um, it, it leans on the uh, Drake Lokes a lot too. I'm considering dropping in a fourth Drake Loke in the deck. Even the last game I won, I, I I got up. I think things went well. I almost threw the game away because I had I <laughs> I had a horrible misplay. If I leave the game up, you will see what it is. Um, if I don't leave the game up, then you won't see what it is. All right, I am. Oh, wait, I chose first. No, my opponent's going second. Okay, that's not great. Let me see what I hit here. I already have a Colrus, right? I don't have Colrus. All right, I'm gonna grab Colrus because that's so super key to this deck. I will. I mean, it's just it's not good, but see what happens. I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's not the worst. Well, actually, I, I will switch. I, mean, I would like to get. Um, uh, I'll do this. I think I already lost on one energy, right? So I don't really want. I don't love the idea of loss on a second energy. Maybe I should have attached to the bench. Uh, maybe I should have. Just helping me switch as well, and then I could power up next turn ideally. But I think I should have attached to the comfy on the bench. Assuming they're going to knock out the active, then I could um, use the comfy. Promote the comfort of the bench to the active. Re you know, use that. Use the Colrus. Hopefully, I have like a, something else to attack with, or send up like another comfy. Um, we'll see how this goes. Raging Bolt's a good deck, certainly. Um, it hits hard and fast. Uh, we'll see if they take the knockout. The good thing is, it wants to play against two prize decks, so I'm gonna have to play this game primarily as a single prize deck. Um, that's that that's gonna be really important for this um, can they you know and then hopefully at some point I, need, I do need to attack with dragapult ex and when I do hopefully I, they can't one shot me right that well, that's a big deal so squawk ability because it's a, it's a turbo deck just looking at the artwork on this alt art squawk ability nice clay tile roof and all Admiring that. Okay. Wow. Okay. So they haven't even swap ability yet. So they're really going. They are setting up tremendously, and they haven't squawked yet. So, um, wow. Uh, this is going to be tough to win. I mean, this they have popped. This they have gotten such a great start. Uh, and I assume they're going to squawk and see still. Um, I mean, they, they benched it down. They don't really want it there if they're not going to attack with it. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Pal pad. Okay. Just playing cards from hand, and then I imagine they're going to squawk and seize. So they're just chucking away cards because that, that doesn't do anything this turn. All right, so they lost Prime Catcher. I'm pleased for that. I mean, they might have been better not dropping down the Squawkabilly, honestly, because they have such a good hand. They didn't. I don't think they needed it. Um, and obviously, he's a great target for me. Now, they have a full bench, which means if they play Collapse Stadium, they can get rid of that Squawk ability. So, we'll see what happens. Um, so, they take the knockout. They just discard one energy. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Um, Dragapult EX. Uh, Okay, I mean, I need to be in play. I will. I'll call Riss here. Cramorant, buddy, buddy, Poffin, and um, let's see. I guess I'll get. Let's see. I need a. No, I'll grab this. I, I'm not certain about how this is going here. Okay, well, there's only one more comfy in deck, so so I have one comfy prized. I'll retreat here into him. Uh, I can give him a poke if I... I need a switching card. I give him a poke with Cramorant. 
Uh, ooh, did I already get rid of a... No, I did not. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> I'll grab the Psychic. I haven't ditched any EX, right? You just gotta be careful. I don't want to ditch two EXs. I don't think that would be a good play. And... I end turn on that note. So, I am not in a good position. At all. Right? Not shock. Uh, not, it's not a shock that I'm in, bad, in a bad spot here, though, I will say. Um, uh, at this point, I, I can't really afford to attach ener energy to... And I guess I send the, the Comfy up. I guess. I mean, they, they are just in such a great position. And they're teal dancing consistently. And, you know, they're just... <laughs> I don't have a chance this game, right? I don't think. They went second, and which I would have done. If I had won the coin toss, I would have gone second, and things would have hopefully be better for me. And worse for them, right? They wouldn't have taken the prize yet. Um, I'll send up the comfy. That's the, quote, greedy play, but I, I think I need the greedy play, right? At some point, I can, I mean, stabilize. It's not going to be good enough against this deck. Um, I, it's it, Yeah, I it, mean, it's horrible. It's just horrible. I, yes, I'm single prize deck to a, a certain to a large extent here, um, the, uh, but they're setting up, so it, it's okay. The resources aren't getting strained, and my drag up they're gonna one shot the dragapult DX whenever I toss him into play as well. I'm pretty certain. So that doesn't make me feel good. All right, so what do I have here? I've got six. I mean, I'm able to attack with Sableye. I, I, uh... All right, I'm going to do this. One, two. Do I want him? Do I want the switch cart? Um, hmm. I'll, I'll do those plays. Okay. Do this. Am I at nine? Okay, I. Uh, do I have another comfy? One, two, three. Okay, do I wanna. Do this. Um. What's what's in my deck at this point? So I'm gonna rod. So I have nine there, right? So and so I guess I'm gonna attack with Sableye this turn. It's not a bad thing to do, I don't think. I will. Let me sequence it properly this time. Last time I forgot and I used the switch cart on the comfy with the tool and that was not good for me. So I, I have nine, right? So I just need to get card in the loss zone. I'm gonna attack with Sableye. All right, counter catcher is kind of nice, I guess. Um, just might as well make things awkward for my opponent, right? That's kind of the best I can do here. Send up Sableye. I will attach per turn. I don't, do I want a Dragapult? Evolving Dragapult? I guess I do. I'm, I'm concerned about it, but. All right, what do I want in the active here? I will send up. Um. This guy here. So I'm going to get these Ogre Ponds, each one away from being knocked out. I'll put the rest on to this guy here. I could have gone for the... Uh, I mean, they're going to take knock me out, I assume. They have a nice big hand here. I set up the Comfy with the tool. I have Iono. It's not, you know, 
Uh, it wasn't a horrible turn. It wasn't a hor. I mean, it's not a. Not, it wasn't a good turn, mind you. Um, I do have a lost vacuum, so I can get a little pressure on this guy here. He's actually at 200, so these four guys are all at 200. I don't play Mirage Gate. They don't know that, but I so I cannot power up Dragapult next turn. So I have to attack with Crammer next turn, basically. Uh, I mean, I mean, unless they like gust up my Dragapult and knock him out, and that's actually even worse for me. Um, so, you know, it, it my opponent the first honestly turn one from my opponent was huge, and then turn two kept getting better. Um, I. I, I'm not in the consider, you know, I'm not for this. For the, my deck hasn't performed horribly to this point, but my opponent popped off. And, um, okay, so attacking with him, keeping the, the want to keep the, the Raging Bolt protected because he's there to one shot my Dragapult EX, right? That's that goal. So, um, they need seven times what? They need five energies to discard, though. So potentially... Look, I have Tool. I have Lost Vacuum. Uh, that's not good, though. That's not good. One, two, three, four. So they just need one more energy. And they can one-shot my Dragapult EX. Which they probably have, right? And not to mention the fact that they may even get more energies attached this turn because they might use some of their Teal Mask Ogre Ponds. Still. Um, so I, I'm in a lot of trouble. Which is what it is, using the secret rares there, the alternate arts there, on the energies, Riven of Hollows tools, you know, got the got got it blinged out. So okay. I'm mean, gonna try to wipe out my Dragapult EX, which does not make me feel good. Um what I need no, I can't attack, so I cannot attack with Dragapult, so period. So Trying to maybe get another uh, Pokemon catcher. Uh, that might be the, what they're trying to do. So, you know, they're going to blow up my Dragapult EX. Um, but they take a single prize, and then they take two prizes, and they have to take two prizes again. I don't think I can make this work, though. I really don't think there's any way I can pull this together. So, let's end up comfy. I guess I'm going to hit with Cramorant. Um, it's not good. Um, the Radiant Charizard is actually pretty solid as well. Alright, I'm going to drop him into play here because he's good. I'm going to put the energy on Dragapult. And I'm going to Iono here. Do I want to Lost Vacuum something away? Um, I'm going to Lost Vacuum the tool off the active away. Just get him to where I can one-shot him if that's what happens, right? And Iono, and then I can start drawing cards. I had the free retreat. It's my tool. Um, okay, not, not bad. Um... I'm, look, I'm I'm in uh, my my board state is bad though. <laughs> my board state is just every variant of bad possible, essentially, right? So, do I wanna? I think I want the energy. Switch card's not bad as well, but and I give them a poke here. I think is what I do. No, not don't send him up. I, I this is not good, but I think this is what I have to do. I mean, I could attach to Radiant, Radiant Charizard, but he can't attack either. This is that I don't play Mirage Gate. I can't power up in one turn. Um, I can't. You know, the problem is my opponent just got off to a really good start. Um, maybe their deck's better than this deck. Look, it, it, it their deck's a strong deck anyway. Um, so I don't think it's like the lack of Mirage Gates uh, is, is not why I'm in trouble here, right? And if I put the Mirage Gates in, I, I played the deck with Mirage Gates originally. Um, it was just not consistent, I gotta say. So, um, see what happens. They're gonna knock me out. 
Um, I don't have boss, right? Boss would be good. Um, I have boss and deck still, right? So uh, the problem is, is if I dig that aggressively in the deck, I'm going to deck myself out too. Um, cause, cause, uh, so I have to think that through before I take my, my prizes. I might deck myself out. That is like, cause I need to take six prizes. I need three knockouts here. And, um, you know, it's not good. I can, do I have Kramer and deck still? Did I lost some Kramer? No, I have Kramer and deck. So. So I need to attack with Cramorant. I take a prize, I knock out with Cramorant, which isn't terrible, right? Um, uh, so I want to do this. Oh wait, I, I no, I have Cramorant in hand, so that was dumb. Okay, then that's fine. Um, so I drop down Kramer. I'm gonna attach energy here. I take a knockout with Cramorant. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait to evolve into the other Dragapult because he's, he's my engine at this point, or a big part of it. And let's think, I, I take two prizes. I don't really know that I want to draw dig dig in my deck more. Because I have I'm knocking out the Pokemon I want to. Take two prizes off of one prizer. Finally take a prize. Um I don't think it's gonna matter. I got rid of a bunch of energy though, so that's the good news. So the idea here is I finish off look, they if they have boss, they just win the game. One, two, three, four, five. And that's what they need, right? Five times seven is three fifty. If they don't have boss, though, okay. So they have Luminion V, and they're going to get boss. So um, that's going to be game. Oh, they they failed though. So they bought, don't have boss in their deck, probably. Uh, that's good. Bosses, they're out of boss. Boss is prized. I mean, they played the catcher. I don't know what they play, and they play counter catcher. They actually play boss too. Have they played? What do they play for supporters? They play the Forsadas. I don't, I don't know. And they play Pokestop. I don't know if they actually play boss, I guess. Um, oh, this is good. It's not a grass energy, so that's very good. Um, so they're trying to get a catcher or something. Um, so I'm going to take the knockout here. That's super awesome. Super awesome, right? Um, I'll send up the comfy. Um, so this is good. I mean, I, I they just need a gust and they win, or they might be able to one shot me, right? I am far I'm far from having won this game. I can tell you that. Let me take a peek at my deck. I do have a rod there. Um I will I'm gonna attach here, I guess. I really don't think I want to loss on anything, do I? So take the knockout and just do the switch. Switch is, is fine. Um, I attack with Dragapult. What do I put? Does it matter where I put the damage counters? I'm, I, like, there's a good chance I lose, but I'm definitely not guaranteed to lose. And um, I'm going to put it on this Ogre Pond because if they drop, he's the guy that they want. He's got one energy. He's the best candidate for them to attack with. And if they do, I want to not have to worry about the tool. So does this work out for me? I don't no, I, I, I'm now the game has gotten more promising. They got off to a hot start, but did they, you know, did they run out of 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 of, of juice? I, I don't know. Augustine, they win, obviously. Well, they need to attack right now. They don't have anything they can attack with. Um, 
So I may just have game here. I Right now, I don't really see what they're going to do. They get back energy. Um, but I don't think they have boss, right? And I don't think... And they can't get enough energy. They can attack. They can attack this turn, I think. But I don't... I'm, they're not going to take the knockout. And that just gives me game. So uh, that's super awesome. Super awesome there. Oh, they have boss. Okay, how, how, how come they didn't have boss earlier? I'm a little confused by that. Um, when they played Lubini on V, did they not have access to boss at that time? Did they draw the boss since then? I'm a little confused. Anyway, uh, I you know it was a all in all that game became more competitive towards the end than I would expect it because my opponent got off to a hot hot start. I got an okay start, not a great start, but not a terrible start. And uh, came up short, but the deck, you know, uh, with the um, the way it's built, can kind of grind along and did make for a competitive game. All right, see how things go. Got a loss the last game. Um, the last two games, I think it's the last two games, got a win and a loss. The win, I made a... The deck did well. I made a huge blunder late in the game. Um, which could have cost me the game. I was I, I was in the dominant position. I made a huge mistake, still closed it out, but um, definitely made it tougher than I should have. And the last game, uh, my opponent got off to a hot, super hot start, and um, I just you know was able to kind of was able to close in on them with a potential. With actually gave me a thought that I might win, and that was kind of a, almost its own victory because I was off to a terrible, terrible start. Have Colrus. The thing I don't have is the um, the comfy on the bench or comfy in the starting spot, right? Ideally, if it's just one Pidgey, if I can knock out the Pidgey, that would be the goal if I get Prime Catcher. All right, so Buddy Buddy Poffin. I'm going to drop down two comfies here. I can crammer it with the Nest Ball. So I will swing into a Comfy, because I'm going to need to Comfy. Um, even if this turn doesn't come together, I want a Comfy. Let's see what I get. Uh, I'll grab the Energy, because that that I might need it this turn to retreat. Um, switch Cart, nice. Uh, rare. Uh, do I want Rare Candy? Not necessarily. Energy and what, what's in the lost sun? Do I want to? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I think that's a hat. That, I like that. I like this spot. So that's three in the lost zone. So I'm gonna drop down Cramorant because I'm gonna take a prize. Um. I just wanted to thin, right? I prefer to. I'd like to be able to attach an energy to a Dreepy. That's what I'd like to do, but I have to have a switch. So let me see if. And I'll grab Sableye because Sableye could be good this game. I'm not sure if he will be. It depends. If also my opponent's set up, they're tanky, and he's not overly strong. But so and no energies in the discard or the lost zone yet, right? So I'm free to do whatever I want. So I will I'll do the psychic kind of hiding what I'm no, they, they know actually no, I'm not hiding what I'm playing. They know I'm playing dra dra uh, Dragapult because there's the Dreepies. Okay. So um, anyway I'm not going to be able to Sableye next turn. I, I could have kept the psychic. I probably sh I should have kept the psychic actually. Okay, Ultra Ball you know, one copy of Ultra Ball is good. Let's me get the um, Drake Loke. Level Ball in format would be tremendous for the, for, for Dragapult EX. Maybe I want to take a look at an Expanded um, with Level Ball, because that searches for 90 HP Pokemon, which is really good. I mean, Buddy Buddy Poffin and Level Ball is kind of busted. Um... So this could be, you know, I've taken a prize here. If my opponent can't do anything, I mean, are they going to evolve into... Okay, they must, they could probably evolve to Pidgeot because... No, they cannot. Wow. Wow. Okay, if... 
if, 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 if. Okay, if I can take out this Pidgeotto, my opponent will kind of cry. Um, they probably won't actually cry. All right, a switch. And do I want this energy? I think I want both switches, actually, right? So I can comfy, comfy. And because I would love to hit um, Prime Catcher here, right? Prime Catcher would be insane. Let me evolve into this guy here. Oh, that is amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so life is good at this point. So I will switch here, and then I'm going to take out the Pidgeotto, and I get to attach. Uh, this This is pretty much a dream turn. I might even want to... Okay, that's good. I, I, I'm... So... I have to think this through slightly. So I want to, I'm going to take out the Pidgeotto, who they worked hard to evolve. So I lose the engine. I need to attach here. Do I want to get, um, I'm going to ditch the rare candy and the Roxanne, get another Drake Loke and play, All right? I don't need rare candy if I have Drake Lokes. And Drake Loke gets me my engine as well. Drake Loke is actually a really awesome engine. That that's that's why I, I'm going without Mirage Gate. Um, oh, Psychic Energy, super awesome. Uh, that's this is, this is a, a tremendous hand. So take the knockout. What am I? I think I'm I'm at seven. I could use Mirage Gate if I had it, but I don't play it in the deck, and I might not have it in hand anyway. Um, so now in a very nice position. Um. Yeah, so two prizes up. Now, they they will get to the point that they can one-shot me. And so I got to be... That's a concern, and I cannot one-shot them. Um, but I do 200, and I do 120 with Sableye, but that's not good because that gets to 320, and they're 330. So um, I, pro I probably won't get a boss this turn. All right, my opponent conceded. So, look, it wasn't a foregone conclusion that I win... But, um, wow, that hot hat just looks awful. <laughs> I, I can't keep that there long. I mean, I guess I could change my outfit, but um, whatever. Um, so anyway, my thoughts on this deck at the as, as I conclude. Uh, you know, it's a good deck. Uh, happy with the build all in all. Um, obviously, Mirage Gate would be nice at times, but without the Mirage Gate, it just I can make the deck a little bit more consistent, can add up the energy in a few other cards, so... It just works and sets up more consistently, and that's really the big, which I like a lot, right? With Lost Zone, uh, first decks, you know, you don't hit Colorus and you're doing nothing. With this deck, I can kind of, if I miss it, you know, you want Colorus experiment, but if you miss it, you can still Drake Loke and kind of get things going. I like the Ultra Ball, actually, in the deck, too. Um, get, you know, gives me a little bit of versatility. It's the only way to, to search for an Evolution Pokemon either a Drake Loke or a Dragapult. So I like having that one copy there. Probably can't have more copies than one just because of deck space, and I don't want to discard much. But um, yeah, all in all, a very good build, and I encourage you to uh, take a look at it, give it a try, and let me know your thoughts on this build versus a Mirage Gate build in the comments. Take care.